Hey guys, just Bill from Townsend Outdoors. We're going to continue setting up our luxury on our big guy bridges. Okay, we've got our ridge line level. We've got our tension and our suspension pretty good. We've got all our poles in and everything is looking great. We check our four corners, walk around, make sure they're right. Okay, the first couple times you set up the bridge, the am steel is not going to be set for these poles. All right, so be extra cautious the first time and the first dozen times. All right, if everything's looking good, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come to these two ends. We're gonna tension that shock cord up. As you can see, what that cord does is pinches our pole tips, all right? So those are gonna be less likely to pop out now that we've got them in there. If you're not familiar with a bridge, these are recessed bar bridges, okay? A bare mountain bridge hammock or a war bonnet ridge runner those are going to have the poles outside the hammock. In this case with the Townsend bridges, these are recessed bar bridges and the bars are inside the hammock. That makes the hammock a lot bigger, but we have some extra caution that we need to observe when we're using the Townsend bridges. Okay? One of the first things we need to do, there's about six different splices in each of these Amsteel leads running through here. So we need to put a little weight on the bridge. We need to set those splices. So what we want to do first is look for our center tab. We want to go ahead and line ourselves up and just double check our height. You want to look at the bottom of your butt cheek and the top of the bridge. That's what you're looking for. Bottom of your butt cheek, top of the bridge. If that's off and we need this a little higher or lower, we're going to go ahead and adjust either end. All right but this one's set where it needs to be. So I'm gonna look for this next tab and this next tab, either side of the center. I'm gonna put my butt right on that tab. I'm gonna take those two other tabs, grab them with my hands, and I'm gonna push straight down. Then I'm gonna sit down. As I'm sitting down, I'm looking at all four corners of my poles and making sure they're okay. Now that I've got all my weight on this edge, I'm just gonna give it a small bounce. Nothing crazy. All we're doing is setting the suspension, making sure that all the am steel is locked up tight so when we lay, when we lay down the first time, we don't have any uh, bounces, any surprises, anything tightening up we don't expect. So I'm looking pretty good there. Now I'm gonna stand back up and you're gonna notice a little butt divot here, okay? That's because this first time you use the bridge, you're gonna to need to come over and do the same thing on the other side. This is only the first time as you load the bridge the first time and get some body weight on it. But it'll also give you a chance to see it from the back side. So again, I'm gonna look for that center tab, line it up with my tailbone, I'm gonna grab the adjoining tabs, grab the edge of the bridge, push it straight down and sit. Now, when you're watching it from the back side, you can see how far this bridge rolls up for you. Don't worry about that, that's not a concern. As I showed you guys in another video, all your weight is on the am steel, and you're just going and sitting anywhere you need to. The am steel will carry you, okay? Give it a little bit of a bounce, pop back up. Now you can see my butt divot is smoothed out and we're back to a nice flat bridge, okay? I'm gonna come around and face you guys again. And now we're gonna sit in the hammock for the first time. We're gonna go ahead and double check our poles one more time. I'm gonna grab our edges and I'm gonna sit down on that edge again, okay? It's gonna be uncomfortable. That rope is gonna bite you in the butt. You know you're sitting on the edge and your weight's on there. Now that my weight's on here, I'm gonna push by those tabs like I said. I'm gonna slide my butt for, further back and I'm gonna have this edge right about at my knees. Okay, I'm in the bridge now. It's carrying my weight. I'm gonna hold the edge and just lean back. Okay, now you can see if you do this nice and slow, you don't have a lot of rocking. This thing's not taking off on you. All right, it's a little more comfortable if you open your legs up, but these are not gathered on hammocks, okay? You're not in here to lounge. You don't wanna sit around like this. It's not particularly comfortable. This is just for you to get in the bridge the first time, get weight in it, and be comfortable with it, okay? 
So here I am, I'm in the bridge, taking my weight. I'm gonna grab this again. I'm gonna sit forward. My feet are gonna contact the ground. I'm gonna push. Now I'm sitting like in a chair and I can just stand right up, okay? So while it's not that comfortable, easy in and out, all right? Go slow, take your time, get comfortable with the bridge. Thanks everybody.